guys, today I have a review for you guys from the Wet n Wild Coverall. And I got the foundation and the powder. First I'm going to start with the foundation. It's a cream foundation. It comes with a twist off top like this. And it came actually sealed with a foil on top. Which was really nice because I knew that nobody had opened it or anything. And then I really like that it's a squeeze tube. It's not as great as a pump, but it's not messy either where you have to pour it out. You can just squeeze it directly on your brush. My color is in the shade 820 Medium Tan. And on the back it says, All Day Wear, Medium to Full Coverage, Lightweight, Satin Matte Finish. And I thought later on in the video you're going to see that I say Semi Matte. And I thought it said Semi Matte, but it's actually Satin Matte. And I do think it's a satin matte. Um, Visibrite Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. I really like this foundation. I feel like it matches my skin tone really well. This is actually what I have on my skin right now. I just finished a recording the demo, which I do ahead of time. This blends really nicely. I feel like it gives a really does give a medium to full coverage. The way I apply it gives me more of a medium coverage, and then I just kind of add where I need to hide to help me hide my imperfections but I really like this I love the way it dries to the semi matte I love the color that I picked out for myself I have to say though the range is really short it only has around eight colors and most of them are pink undertones there was only a light shade and then this medium tan that had yellow undertones. All the rest of them, including the shade above this one, the tan one, had pink undertones. So I kind of just went on a whim and was like, okay, I'm going to just try this out and see if this one works because I'm not going to put pink undertones on my skin because it's not going to go with, well with my complexion. So luckily the one that I did pick out did go with my skin tone and the, the yellow undertones as well. But uh, I guess that's good for people who have pink undertones, really sucky for those who have yellow. So there's nothing much you can do about that. Another thing is the price point. This is $3.99. I mean, you can never, I mean, let me not, not say never, but it is super, super hard to get a foundation for that much. And it had a dollar off coupon. So essentially this was three bucks. Next up is the medium. It's in, in oh, sorry not medium it's the cover all powder pressed powder and my shade is medium likewise this has a yellow undertone to it with the powders I thought it was funny because most of the powders had yellow undertones and there was very few with pink undertones so it was the opposite anyways this powder I really really like it as you can see it does give a nice amount of coverage and the really cool thing about this is that it doesn't have a mirror or anything like that, so I like the, the way that they kept, they kept. They kept the packaging nice and sleek. And it does bring a little sponge here on the bottom, but I took that out. And on the back it says, All Day Wear Radiant Weightless Finish Visibrite. Again, Visibrite Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. I don't know what this Visibrite thing is, but... I like it. <laughs> it's always nice to hear when something has something to help you against sprinkles or whatever. But I don't, I'd have to really look up what it is and what it really does. But I have to say, I really like this combination. You, also I got a dollar off of this and the powder is $2.99 minus the dollar off. So it was $2 and $3. So essentially I got powder and foundation for $5. So that was one of the things that also kind of drew me to it and wanted me to try it. And it's also from Wet n Wild. And Wet n Wild has stepped up their game with their eyeshadows. And they've been just really doing good on their products. So I really wanted to try out this new foundation and powder just to try out to see if it's as great as their eyeshadows. And I have to say it really is. Like I said, the shades aren't that great because there's not that many to choose from and the undertones and that kind of thing. But I have to say, this does wear really nicely on my skin. I went through my whole shift and still looked really nice at the end of it. So that says a lot. And it's, I still can't believe it's freaking $3. So <laughs> it's really nice to, to try out. Like I said, you can't go wrong for 5 bucks. have a full face. Seriously, um, 
And like I said, it, it does have around, I would say like six to eight hour wear. So that is really nice. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go into the demo because I'm going to keep repeating myself. If you have any other questions or anything like that, feel free to ask them. And if you want to see how this wears and what it looks like when it applies, just keep watching. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to just take my Real Techniques buffing brush. It's one of my favorite ones. And I'm going to... Just dot two squirts on there and just stipple this around my face. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. Um, as you can see, I have an acne mark right here. I also have one right here in between my eyebrows. And it didn't really cover that, but you'd have to kind of go over with concealer for that. Most of my foundations don't cover those two marks that I have right now. Just because how um, deep they are and how horrible they are. But <clears throat> to me, this seems like really, really... Um, the only foundation coverage. that I put on that has been able to cover those marks is my Kat Von D. So I wouldn't say it's like major, major coverage, but I think it's medium to full coverage depending on what you really need it for. If you have really strong acne marks, I would think that you'd have to need enough product to build it up and cover those marks. With me, I'll just add a little bit more directly on that spot to kind of just cover those areas. So as you can see it's more like a semi matte. It, it looks a little shiny against the lights right now but it does dry completely. I've been using this for around three or four days now. So let me go ahead and apply the powder and this is in the shade medium. look as you can see um, with the powder it really mattifies it and the foundation itself once it dries dries um, if I'm not mistaken it dries matte it says here semi matte but I feel like it's matte and I really like the finish of it I think it looks really natural on my skin I don't know about you guys but I feel like it really does match my skin tone so there you go. If you have any other questions or anything like that, just leave them down below and I will try to answer them. Uh, I had lipstick on my teeth. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye.